the greatest thing in all of my life is loving you. People say to me, but you were just too soon. I said, no, I was right on time. I wouldn't have played against Babe Ruth, you know. I wouldn't have seen Ty Carr, Walt Johnson, those guys, yeah. So, man, I was right on time. Our sixth member of the Hall of Fame class of 2022 played, managed, coached, scouted for nearly eight decades before becoming one of the game's great ambassadors. Buck O'Neill, one of the finest human beings to ever walk the face of this earth, who just happened to be a great baseball player, came to the Kansas City Monarchs in 1938 as a first baseman, was a great first baseman for the Monarchs through the 1955 season. He played professionally from 1937 to 1955, with newspaper reports proclaiming the three-time All-Star among the finest fielding and hitting first baseman in the Negro Leagues. Where he would move into Major League Baseball, the first African-American coach. I have nothing to crow about. I'm sad that I'm the first black coach. I wish I had been the 10,000 or something like that. When Buck came to Dallas to sign me, you know, I was just so thrilled with that to have someone like him to show that interest in me for this game of baseball. But then he would really become the voice of the Negro Leagues. And I think what he did for all of us was he demonstrated that you could get further in this life with love than you could with hate. To me, that's what is so special about Buck O'Neill. John Jordan Buck O'Neill now joins baseball's Hall of Fame legends in Cooperstown. The greatest thing and all my life is loving you. Thank you, folks. Thank you, folks.